Hello everybody, I'm Farmer Sim, and welcome back to Court Farms Country Park and episode 16 of the Let's Play series. So I hope you're all doing good and having a nice day. We are here in the southeastern corner of the map and we have taken on another three contracts. Grasswork contracts, two of them are silage, one of them is hay. Uh, bring up the, the heads up display there, field 31, 32 and 33. They're all pretty much next door to each other, that's why I've taken them on. Um... Two of them were paying quite decent money because they're quite decent fields. We've got this one here, which is field 32, I think. Yep, this is 32. 31, no, 33 is the one on the other side of the hedge there from the front. And 31 is this slightly smaller one here. Um, yeah, and this, this is silage. This is hay. And that one over there is silage. So, obviously, uh, the reason why I've taken all these three contracts on is because I'm really keen to get some more money into the bank. Yes, we're sat at 63 grand at the minute, 63,250. We earned about 1,300 quid from the milk sale overnight. Um, and But, yeah, I want to get as much money in as possible because I have my eye on another field. Um, it's close to our farm. If I just pop up bring into the menus here very quickly... And where are we? It's this one here, field 92. So this one here, it is £156,720. Currently has doesn't have any crop in it. It's been cultivated. Um, it's The only thing it's got in it is stones. Uh, so that'll have to be dealt with if and when we get around to purchasing that. Um, I'd, lo I'd love to be able to purchase this one, field 57, but that's £309,000. And I know anything's achievable in the game if you if you aim towards it, but at the minute I'm just going to take uh, those medium-sized steps. Um, we're going to go for this one first. Not field 109, is it? That's a plot of land 109. Field 92. Yes, that's the one I'm going to aim for now because it's still relatively close to the farm. We own this one now. This is our soybean field that is growing and it should be due to harvest next month. Obviously, these three are ours. That's the grass field. Uh, we put some... What did I put in this one? Last uh, last episode. Canola, that's it. Yeah, canola. This one's empty and this one's empty. So uh, I'm still going to figure out what to put in there. I, I was toying with the idea of putting grass in one of them um, just for the purposes of making money from the silage. Um, because we, ha we have got a chunk of bales over at the farm, which are, I think they're about 98% 98 fermented. Um, and... Because I don't have Maze Plus installed, the cows aren't going through the food very quickly. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm still in a position where I'll be able to sell a chunk of those bales and make some money. So, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to. It. I think I just need to. Uh, I need to come to that conclusion, don't I? That when I, when I mow my grass, my, just even my grass field, mow it, bale it, wrap it, turn it into silage. Most of that I'm going to be able to sell for profit as long as I've got a, a, a chunk left over to, to keep the cows topped up because they don't go through food very quickly at all do they so uh so yeah that's going to be the first stage of today's episode i've got all the equipment down here we've got the fence hooked up to the mower and the tedder to turn this field into hay we've got the we've got the windrower we've got the ford we've got the baler and just around there we've got the massey with the bale trailer all three fields uh are going to different cell points field 31 is going to tall trees field 32 this one here is going to long meadow stores and field 33 is going to pine creek bales so yep yeah, we've got three different places to go three fields to cut one to t one to ted and two to uh turn into silage so yeah no time like the present it's 20 to 9 in the morning we're going to crack on um as I say, I'm still a bit uh, undecided as to what's going to happen after this. But first things first, we need to get this one started. Off you go. Let's not get myself turned around in that tether, shall we? Right. There we go. So, as per usual, I'm going to throw all these three contracts into a bit of a, a bit of a montage, a bit of a, a grass work medley, as it were. And I shall pick you all back up. Uh, for you, it will be a few minutes. For me, it's going to be several hours. A good couple of hours, I think, at least. So I shall catch you, catch you all very soon.
Right, hello everyone. All done. All three grasswork jobs have been completed and we've made a reasonable amount of money from it. We gained in total from all three fields from residual bales, whether it's silage or hay, we made £25,312, which is awesome. That's broken down into £6,710 from field 31 silage contract. That was the smaller of the three fields. £5,475 from the hay bale uh, contract and £13,127 from field 33, uh, the silage contract. So that's all good. I uh, haven't turned in the contracts yet, um, but what I also did, um, and I couldn't, it just happened, it was one of those things I was, when I was filming the uh, the montage, the, the cinematic bit, and I was following one of the, I, th I think I was following this along the road actually, I saw another collectible. And then I saw another one, and it just reminded me of that Family Guy episode where he's like, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy, ooh, piece of candy. And it just carried on, and it carried on, and it carried on, until we're here. 217,547 pounds. I found 29 collectibles, and I found all of the water tankers, uh, I think it was. Yeah, so that gave me a hundred thousand pounds, which I know it's. I know a lot of people are a bit meh with uh, collectibles. I know they're, a, you know, it's one of those things. But do you know what? They're in the game. You can only do it once. Um, obviously, I'm not. You know, I've, I've still got. I think how many? I, I, I'm in the seventies now. In fact, let's just have a quick, quick look. See, uh, there, bottom right, uh, seventy-two out of a hundred. So I've got twenty-eight left to collect. Uh, now I know there's going to be another handful of one hundred thousand pounds. Maybe when I collect all the like all the other ones, like every harvester and every plow and all that kind of stuff. And I am very tempted. I'm, I must admit, because it can only be done once. I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just get it out of my system, find them all, get a load of money, and that is going to be able to enable me to do a bit of an expansion, isn't it? I'm, I might be able to get myself a new tractor. I might even be able to get that really big field. So as much as I was saying I'd like to get, uh, I forget the number of it now, field 92 here. Uh, that's £156,000. And look, it's in blue. I can afford to buy it. <laughs> but I would very much like this one as well. 12.73 acres of field. How big is that? That's five acres. That's 12. This one's six, just under six and a half. But uh, you never know. If I find all the collectibles, I might be able to get both of them, and it would mean a great big expansion and possibly a nice shiny new tractor. Um, so I, yeah, I think I think I've got the bug right now. I've just I've I've um, I've been searching for them for a good. Uh, I finished the I finished the, the contract technically about an hour ago. I've just kind of been floating around, uh, spotting them one after the other. Then I got tempted, so I've moved myself to a different part of the map just uh, with flying mode on. And just went from there so yes i know i know i did say a few episodes ago that i'm not going to go out of my way to find any collectibles if i see one i will collect it and that's kind of technically what i did i saw one i wasn't planning on it i saw it picked it up saw another one and yeah it just went from there spiraled out of control but now i've got lots of money so do you know what i think i am i'm going to take advantage of this i'm going to i'm going to spend hopefully not too long but i'm going to uh see if i can find a few more See if I can find them all. In fact, uh, although I've got a funny feeling I won't, I won't be able to because I know that uh, Oxy did it on Calms and whether he's done it on this map as well. But there was there was one or two collectibles that you could only find in winter because they appeared in the hands of snowmen who would only appear when it was snowing. So there's a possibility that might be the case with this one as well. Um, but do you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. Um, so I shall catch you all in a wee while, um, and hopefully might have a few more pounds in fact actually before i go let's just quickly turn these contracts in boom 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 <laughs> just shy of two hundred and fifty thousand pounds it's almost a quarter of a million quid wow okay <laughs> well yeah i'm quite excited by this because i have been saying for the last few episodes i do really want to kind of ramp things up and start earning some money and to be able to increase and expand the farm get a few more fields um and you know, I do. I, I apologise to those of you who think this is a bit cheaty. You know, I, I'm on the fence with it. It's, it's. I don't know whether you can call it cheaty. It's in the game. If it wasn't in the game, and if I was doing something, you know, if I was going into the uh, 
easy dev controls, you know, go into air and just adding money, then yeah, that's that's cheating. But it's in the game and you can only do it once, so I may as well uh I may as well get it out of my system, hadn't I? So, right, we'll see you shortly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a productive afternoon. I've not done any farming whatsoever, but I have made a butt ton of money. Um, it's taken me about, give or take a bit, about somewhere between five and six hours. Um, I've found all but two of them, and I've just given up on those two. I just cannot find them whatsoever. Um, it's taken me a while, though. I did enjoy it, as I said to you before. I, I kind of had the bug um, just to slowly and very carefully and methodically you know, whiz round the map, so to speak, in uh, in flying mode and just keep my eye out for them. They're on top of buildings in places. They're they're relatively easy to find and obviously they're brightly coloured, so if you if you you know, yeah. They they can be found, but two of them no, I've spent the last hour trying to find I, j I well, I say tried to find, I've spent the last hour keeping my eye out for them and I just cannot find them at all. I'm at ninety eight collectibles collected. And we have da, 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 975,129 pounds, which is completely ridiculous. <laughs> but what it does mean, um, essentially, I think what I'm going to do, um, I have just spent a couple of seconds just uh, having a bit of a, uh, a calculation and see, figure out what I can do. What it does mean I can do, if I jump into the map here, I'm going to, I'm not, obviously I'm not going to fritter it away, I'm going to buy this big field here, which is 12.7 acres uh, for 309,024. I'm going to buy the field I wanted to get initially, which is that one, 156, because they're still within a nice ra uh, radius of the farm. And I'm going to buy myself a brand new, brand new uh, tractor. I'm going to buy another big Fent. This one's the Fent 1000. Um, all singing, all dancing, spanky brand new with zero hours on it. Um, yeah, it's going to be about 500 horsepower. So I'm going to, I can get those two fields, that tractor, and I'll be left with about £110,000. But what I'm also going to get hold of is I'm going to buy the corn header and header trailer for the Dominator here. Um because I was thinking, oh, I could get get myself a new combine and all this kind of stuff, but no, I, I don't need it. This is a, this is still a brilliant combine, um, and I barely used it. I know it's had, a, I know it's got a uh, a lot of work hours on it, but um, but no, sticking with that because it's awesome. So yeah, I'm going to treat myself to a new tractor. I'm going to buy some new land. In fact, we can do that right now, can't we? So uh, where are we? Farmland. This is, oh, and also, sorry, before let me just go back into it here. Um, this is barley, and it's ready to harvest, which is awesome. In fact, actually, just make let me just make sure that uh, barley, yeah, because we're in uh, we're in the last day of August, so and it's obviously quarter to seven at night. Um, I don't know, you know, technically, you know what? I could I could make a I could we could harvest that field now, quarter to seven at night, if I uh, if I step time down by a half just to, just so I could uh, put it into a montage and make it look nice without it going dark uh, anyway sorry brains thinking at the same time as uh, trying to record and uh, yeah right anyway so buy yes done going to buy yep done that's got nothing in it there so uh, yeah and then I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, custom I'm going to build up my fent and we'll go pick that up from the shop um and we'll go from there exciting times people new field day and new track today <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome to my new tractor the beast look at the size of that fent 1000 vario 1050 actually 1050 vario it's the uh, fully kitted out fully specced out with the big wide tires wheel weights Big engine, 500 and something horsepower. What a thing. Proper monster. The private plate as well. 
in the UK. I think I think at the minute we're on 72 plate. That's the most recent new uh, registration numbers that we got out at the minute, as a as a, I think as I record this. So yeah, FE 72 NDT. Awesome. And I picked up the uh, corn header and header trailer for that header. So new kit. Awesome. But downside. Shop shop. The gates are locked. So I can't get out. <laughs> so we're going to have to wait for the morning. So I think I'm just going to uh, leave this here for now. Nobody can get at it. So we're going to uh, let's go home. There we are. Back at the farm. Quick. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in two minds what to do. I don't think I'm going to do the. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to do the evening harvest now. I'm going to do that tomorrow. We're going to. We're going to crack on. Um, so I think I'm going to go to sleep now, and we're going to wake up in the morning, and we're going to crack on. Right. Good morning, everyone. New track today. Although yesterday was technically new track today. But today is going to pick up new track today. So let's uh, do exactly that. There we are. Aha. <laughs> And I have just also purchased a wait for it as well. Um, just because. Now hopefully... Oh, hang on a minute. Just going to do this 9 o'clock thing. Oh, it is, isn't it? You know what? Let's just... Fire this... Time forward a few minutes. There we go, 9 o'clock. Excellent. I want my new tractor. <laughs> Stop locking me in. Right. Here it is, people. What a thing. Pretty nice place, isn't it, by the looks of things? Yeah. Right, anyway, let's send this home. There we go. Home farm, home farm. Off you go. Lovely stuff. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'm very happy with that. Of all the tractors we now have, I have one very, very good one. It's not broken, not damaged, doesn't have a million hours on it. Yeah. Awesome. I know it's a big tractor, but it should. I was, I was even tempted when, it, when the twin wheel option came up in the menu. It was like, ooh. But no, that would be ridiculous on this map. It just wouldn't go anywhere. But yeah, I think this should be pretty much I think about the limit for the size of tractors we can get on this map um, let's just hang with it for a minute or two while we uh, just gauge how big it is compared to the little lane we have to turn left onto here I do hope that that header is actually latched onto the trailer, it doesn't look quite straight does it wide berth that is quite a wide turn isn't it come on yeah, that looks all right, doesn't it? It's fine. It'll be fine. I suppose it might, having the weight on the front of it might make it a little bit awkward when it comes to getting into certain fields and the access points to certain fields, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It'll be all right. Welcome to your new home, tractor. Well, that reminds me. I'm going to have to do a bit more, uh, a bit more organising now, aren't I? Oh yeah. Where's it gonna live? <laughs> ah. Yeah. Haven't thought that one through. There you are though. Got two fence now. Excellent. I suppose the header can just live in there for a while. I'll just have to maybe bunch it up for a bit. But this is gonna have to come out now anyway, because we're gonna go and harvest the barley field. That's uh that's on my to-do list now. In fact, let's just we can just take a take a quick a quick sprint down here, can't we? It's not far. It's just on the other side of the uh, on the other side of this field. There it is. We can just see it in the distance. I'll need to uh, connect it up to the auto drive network. I need to find out where the field access point is. Actually, or is it this here? Hope not. There it is. Our new field. Oh dear me. Expected yield 86%. Goodness me. Well, to be fair, the harvest that we're going to get off this is essentially a freebie anyway, isn't it? I wanted the field anyway. It's come with a harvestable crop, so 
That's just a bonus as far as I'm concerned. Regardless of what the yield is, 86% or not, it's still better than zero, which is in the other field, actually. That doesn't have a crop in it. It's just like this. It's limed and essentially ready to go, ready to be drilled. But yeah, farm expansion, everybody. Very happy. We've got two new fields and a big, shiny tractor. So, as I said, I'm going to get that new field. In fact, what number is that field? We haven't... Uh, field 57. Right. So yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a bit of a look around, make sure I can figure out where I've got to uh, join it up to the auto drive network from, and I shall join you back in a matter of minutes, I hope. Oh, and I might tidy everything up as well, put everything where it's uh, where it's going to live. But yeah, see you soon. Right, hello everyone, back again. It's been more than a few minutes for me. It's been about almost an hour actually, because I've been uh, mucking around yet again. But I've been doing what I felt was necessary. Uh, if I just... I'm going to jump into uh, flight mode very quickly. Right. This is now the access to field 50... 59? Is it 59? Yeah, field 59. Um, 57. Sorry, we've already got 59. <laughs> yeah, right. I've uh, What I've done is I've trimmed the edge off, uh, off this field here. The, the only other access point for our new big field was actually through the main court farms. Um, and I didn't really want to have to be going that way every time I wanted to access this field because it's mine and it's right next to our farm. Uh, so, yeah, I've just uh, painted in this lane. As I say, I've trimmed off only a very small amount of the edge of this field. I've done a little bit of, uh, of landscaping in this area. I've just changed it around a little bit um, so that the auto drive network can now make its way straight down uh, to our new field over there. Uh, I've not taken a huge amount of, off this field. Uh, nothing that's uh, worth crying about anyway. Uh, I have amended the auto drive network a little bit. Um, if I just hop into this tractor here. For those of you who do use auto drive and are, are even remotely interested um, in what I've done. Uh, let's just bring the menus up here. Bring up the, no up the nose. Yep. Jump into construction mode. Yeah, so I've uh, I've just amended the spin the, the area where things can turn around here, uh, and I've uh, created another branch off into a single track down to field fifty nine there. So that's essentially what I've done there. And also, uh, when it comes back down here, I've created a little left hand turn into the into our silo. So hopefully, I haven't tested this one yet. So might uh, eat my words here but uh, when we send the harvester and the tractor and trailer into that field to do the harvest which I think is going to be coming up imminently I'm hoping that uh, whichever tractor I use I think I mean it would be pretty sad of me not to wouldn't it I think I'm going to put my new tractor to the test that's going to run grain cart today and I'm hoping that that will be able to make that turn successfully into here and tip without having any uh, any bumps or uh, anything like that any shenanigans so yeah that's uh that's where my mind is with that so let's pop those away because it doesn't half drop the fps when you uh when you bring up all the auto drive network cows need a hefty amount of mucking out i've not done anything with them the grass field over there is ready to cut um i'm gonna leave that for now because also the soybean uh, field is ready to harvest as well um so we've gone from uh gone to We've gone from having just one harvest to do to actually having two harvests to do. So uh, it's going to be a busy day. Although what I might, th what I think I might do... There we go, let's turn that off. Yeah, let's turn flight mode off again. There we go. Um, right, so what to do, what to do, what to do. I need to, I need to take the header trailer down there. That's the first thing to do. I'm gonna have a bit of barley, and I, and I appreciate that the, the field itself isn't uh, isn't in a great state. Um, but whatever barley we get off this now is, uh, as I said before, it's essentially it's a bit of a freebie. Uh, we've got a whole load of field prep to do to get that land and soil right with uh, lime and fertilizer and etc. Um, I have uh, I did I did perform a couple of field scans, um, so we do have the precision farming data for the new field. Um, that's all done and dusted and I did also scan the new, the other field as well field, I, th I think it's 91, the, the other one we bought it's, uh, 
over there. Uh, so I think what I might do here, just I'll take advantage of the fact that this field doesn't have a crop in it for now. So we shall uh, spin this around just here. There we go. Turn that off. And we shall go and pick up the harvester, get that into the field, get it running. We'll get the fence hooked up to the grain trailer and get the whole thing running and I shall... Uh, I'm going to do my usual i'm going to create a bit of a cinematic on my new field we're going to get that harvested and then we, we will see where we are from there so we'll see you all very shortly There we go, everyone. Superb harvest. If I don't say so myself. Let's get that pipe out. Hopefully we should. Oh, just a bit off there. There we go. Boo. 
Right. Let's step back a bit. Away from the noise. Yeah, I'm really impressed with that. Very, very happy with this new field as well. And we've got straw to pick up, so that's going to go into the coffers. That's going to make us a few quid. And there's quite a decent amount of it as well, to be honest. I suppose there's a bit less than what there was in the previous field because the yield wasn't so great, but this, with this just being a bigger field, it'll probably end up being about the same, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, right, so I'm going to get everything tidied away. We're going to get the header taken off, get that back into the shed, get the combine cleaned off, get everything cleaned off, essentially, and I shall join you back in a few minutes. And I'll run through a few numbers with you. That will do just fine. Right, okay, let's run through a few numbers and I'll tell you where we stand. Uh, Rain-wise, I guess. So, in the silo now, we have 52.9 tonnes of barley, 25.6 tonnes of oat, and 27.6 tonnes of linseed. All those three crops are due to be sold at top dollar in December, so it's going to be a pretty fruitful Christmas around here, let me tell you. We've got 106.1 tonnes of grain to sell in December. That's going to be absolutely awesome. I'm very looking forward to that. Um, we do still have the field of soybeans to harvest. That's going to be uh, probably one of the first things we get get down to in the next episode. But the sell time for that is June, so uh, that's not going to be added onto the uh, the Christmas wonder that will be our our selling time in December. That's going to be June. So, uh, but yeah, I am I'm very happy with my new tractor. It just looks like it stood there saying, "I am mighty," doesn't it? It's just. It's massive. I thought the, I thought that one was pretty big, but this is just massive in comparison, isn't it? Love it. So yeah, a pretty uh, pretty productive uh, productive episode, I'd say. Um, yes, I know that I have gained what I've gained today from the collectibles, and I know and I don't know. I think the collectibles are a kind of fifty fifty thing, aren't they? Some people agree with them, some people don't use them. You know, it's, it's one of those things. As far as I'm concerned, it's in the game. They're in the game. Um, I'm happy to take advantage of them for the purposes of this game and you know to give me a bit more money as obviously as it has done uh, and to allow me to progress a bit further and a bit quicker because it would have been a very very long time before I even be able to uh, board anything like this or the all the two areas of land we've picked up today so uh, so yeah no I'm happy to do it and I think now that I've got now that I've only got two collectibles left and assuming each one of those is a different uh, model so and that, that'll give me a, another one hundred thousand pounds each so technically i think it'll be i've got two hundred and two thousand pounds i think if i was to find those next those last two um collectibles but i've got a funny feeling again i think i said it earlier in the episode uh knowing what oxy's knowing how he did it with calmsden i've got a strong feeling that i need to keep an eye out in the winter time for snowmen um, I think they kind of appear in the winter, so uh, yeah. But I'm in no rush for that now. Obviously, yes, we did have a, a decent amount of money for a few minutes today, but uh, now we're back to a, a relatively reasonable 83,481. Um, while I'm here, I'll just uh, pop to the silo. I, I know that I do have that uh, the Thundar's Unit Convert mod on, which which is what puts my uh, my measurements into tons. Uh, but for those of you, uh, especially playing console, um, who well, I know the map isn't out for console, but, you know, for literage-wise, um, barley, 70,606 litres, uh, linseed, 32,045, and oat, 46,300. That's what we have in the silo. So, uh, yeah, very happy with that. Very happy indeed. So, anyway, enough of my uh, enough of my mouth. I will uh, I'll get out your ears now, and we'll call it uh, we'll call it here for today's episode. So, um, as always, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed the video, and found it fun and a little bit interesting. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like my content and you like the way I do things, then please consider hitting the, hitting that subscribe button um, and also hitting the like button and leaving me a comment if you fancy. All of these things go a huge way to helping my channel out. 
Um, and also now, don't forget, I, I am now a Giants partner. So if any of you are in the market to make a purchase for any of the uh, any of the game's add-ons, DLCs, season passes, or even the game itself, uh, my promo code is PharmaSim. Um, there will be links in the description to, below to all the uh, individual packs and DLCs and stuff. So if you are, as I say, if you are in the market for a purchase and you fancy helping a content creator out, I would be greatly appreciated. So... Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode.